if we graphed um, r equals 1 plus cosine of 2 theta, you'd find out that we actually end up with only two petals on that. Now, you might say, well, what's going on here? Why is there four petals? Well, we had four petals if we just graphed r equals cosine of 2 theta, but this is 1 plus cosine 2 theta, and we just have two petals on that. And you can see how far out they go out to 2 on uh, both sides, 2 and negative 2 is where the two petals go. Um, and again, you could just graph that on the Excel sheet. This one, the 2 in front here is giving you, what, four petals, and, uh, well, we're, we can take a look at these and then see what the pattern is. We got 1 plus 2 cosine of 2 theta. We end up with four petals. Uh, two of them go out to 3, and the other two only go out to 1 and are kind of squished in between. So uh, you can graph these on that Excel sheet. Again, the way you would graph something like this one is uh, equals 1 plus 3 times, don't forget to say the time sign, that asterisk, times cosine of, no times there, just parentheses, 3 times uh, that would just be x or click on that cell. In fact, let's go ahead and graph that one just for practice. We would graph right here uh, equals, I believe it was 1 plus 3 times the cosine of 3 times, and I would just click, you could type x, or I would just click right here and close the parentheses right there, is 1 plus 3 cosine of 3 theta. Now, once you get that in there, then click on your graph button up there. I actually have to pause it. I can't record as I click that button for some reason. And you do get the graph that's shown in the book there. These, uh, there's a total of six petals. The petals, the smaller petals are actually inside of the other petals, unlike an earlier graph that we did just a little bit ago. One petals go out to four, and the other three petals go out to two. Now, is there a way of determining whether the petals are inside of each other, how many petals there are, and how far out they go? Yeah, there actually is, and I have a lot more pictures here that you can see, and then you can test this rule when we get down here to the bottom to see if it works. But um, you can see how this one had no inner petals at all on it, and uh, this one doesn't either, and that one doesn't, and this one has petals on the side. So here's the uh, answer to the format of these. Uh, for equations in this form, r equals a plus b cosine of c theta, their graph will have an inner loop if a is less than b, like this, 3 is less than 7, so that's why they have these uh, smaller loops, okay, that's the smaller petals, and uh, it will have two C petals. Well, what's C? Six. So how many petals does this thing have then, since it's in that category? Well, it will have 12 petals, six on the outside and six on the inside. Uh, the larger petals will go out to a radius of A plus B. Well, three plus seven is 10, and that's how far they went out to, a radius of 10. And uh, Let's see, and the smaller petals will go out to a radius of B minus A, okay? 7 minus 3 is 4, and that's how far the smaller petals went out to. Um, the smaller petals will be inside the larger petals if C is odd. Well, C is even in this one, and that's why it's not inside of the larger petals. If we go up here, well, let's find one where it is inside. I think that was the one we just did. Uh, second go here, see the C was odd, so they're going to be, uh, the, these petals are going to be inside of these petals. The, the C is odd, so that's why they're inside of the other ones. Also, the number of petals is 10. Uh, 6 plus 3 is 9, that's how far out the radius went, and 6 minus 3 is 3, and that's how far the smaller radius went. So that's the look of what uh, those graphs look like. Well, what about if you have a fraction in front of the theta? Well, then what happens is it doesn't come back to where it started at, and it takes a long time for it to spiral around until it, it finishes the uh, graph. So you may have to go out pretty far, and uh, you're not going to be tested on anything involving problems like that, that's for sure. But uh, you can see that it pretty much makes a spiral graph on these, and uh, you know, you can see how many petals, overlapping petals there are, and there's a ton of them, depending, you, know, you definitely wouldn't want to count how many petals there are on a graph like this. Again, to graph something like cosine of 1.2 theta, it's easy to graph it. You would just type here equals cosine of parentheses 1.2 times 
either X or click on this cell, close parentheses, click on the uh, Get Graph button, and you get a graph that looks like this. My uh, start and end go from negative 20 to 20, and on a graph like this, you do have to go pretty far to uh, see what it looks like. Uh, but now, how many petals are there? Don't worry, you're not going to have a problem like that. Uh, there is a, a uh, uh, on the last page of this section, it does tell you how many petals are formed. Look at this, 1.1 theta uh, has 22 overlapping petals. 1.8 theta has uh, 9 overlapping petals. And here at the bottom, it tells you how you can determine uh, the number of petals. Um, and here it, it gets to it right there. But anyway, that's uh, how polar coordinates are made. And hopefully you just, have, if anything else, uh, it's a pretty easy section to do on, on Excel. And it does give you probably a pretty cool graph for the coolest ones we've uh, done here. Okay, I'll do it.